Okay, so I don't know what happened with the video converter program that I was using to convert all these videos, but for some reason it put some weird gray pixelated effect on the beginning, very beginning of the video, each clip. So hopefully that doesn't get too annoying, but I'm definitely gonna be switching which converter I'm using for the next video. So yeah, sorry about that. Enjoy the video. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. Today we are driving my mom's car to Sam's house to change her brakes and we're also going to be doing Sam's brakes so it's going to be a pretty interesting if you like cars boring if you don't video so let's go it's my mom's car we're gonna go get some brake pads right now from Napa hopefully uh auto our O'Reilly's O'Reilly's didn't have my brake pads for the car so now we're going to Napa. Yeah, and AutoZone was packed, so yeah. We're that's in that's that's uh final destination. So. Alright guys, we got our brake pads. Cost me a hundred dollars from Napa. But that's okay because for my mom's car and she needs them. So lifetime warranty too. Lifetime warranty safe. on the pads, bro. So $100 when uh, pads. it's rake, you know what I'm saying? When they start going out, let's get new ones. Let's get brand new ones. Yeah. See you at the house. Alright, we made it back to the house. I'm about to get started on this brake job. Same with grabbing the tools, bro. Deep sockets. Bro, deep Armor sockets. Freight. Cheap as can be, but they work. Oh, yeah. Time to do the brakes, bro. Oh, no. oh, brakes. This is going to take five ever. No, it'll be quick, dude. I do brakes all the time. I do brakes. All right, we already got the first set on the front driver's side, and now we are looking for a tool to compress the caliper so that we can uh, put it right back on the pads. So I was looking for that part right now. So we had to go back to Napa, get the right size pads because it gave us the wrong ones. And now we are back, just got the front left done again. Why are you breathing so hard? <laughs> I'm tired. Whoa! It's okay. Whoa, bleep it's okay, I have out. a little bleep track for that. Really? Do you yeah. actually? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bill, Four. we're going back on. It's going back on. Blood bolts suck. Chrysler, you suck. Um, just want to put that out there. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah. Just installed. So we had to pause again. And, uh go back to O'Reilly's to get a specialty tool because you know new cars where where is it Sam where's where's the tool oh there it is we had to go get a brake cube it cost me 13 bucks but it gets the job done and it's not even the right tool but it worked so we started on the passenger side me and Sam we're gonna we gotta double team this real quick yeah bro just knock it out you know, front Rear, real quick. No, I, always, I, I, I love the rear end. I'm really good at working on the rear end. Yeah, I know. Sam likes working on the back. But uh, this has gone from a hour and a half long job to a, to a five to six hour long job because Napa didn't give us the right parts and we had to go get a brake cube and we've been running around like chickens with our heads cut off, but we're almost done. So yeah, pads are switched on the front. Sam's almost there on the back. Psych dog, we got about three hours. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, putting on the wheels only gonna take like 20 minutes a piece. Stupid. Torque the front or the rear. Uh, three head banks type up. Three head banks. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> yes, three head banks. That's how tight you want these, these wheels. Okay, so I forgot to explain a big part of why it went automatically from daytime to nighttime between these two clips. Um, basically, I tried to pull a little prank on Sam while he was doing the rear caliper and compressing the cylinder. And I was like, oh, this will be funny. And if I press the parking brake, it'll push the cylinder back out and he'll have to restart. So I ran over and I pressed the e-brake, not thinking that since this car has an electric e-brake, an electronic e-brake that 
it would just keep going. So basically, I pressed the button and it started pushing the piston out of the caliper and pushed the piston so far that it fell out of the caliper and we had to put it back in and redo it all, go buy all new brake fluid, re-flush it and bleed it and do everything. So that's why it kind of switches from daytime to nighttime between these two clips and I somehow didn't get a video of anything that was going on because I was so frustrated and it took probably about two hours to get that all put back together because I really didn't know what I was doing on this. So yeah, anyways, on to the next clip. All right guys, so we bled all the, all the four corners, all calipers, and now we're putting all the wheels on. Um, we're currently stuck in a situation, we're not stuck in a situation, but we're in a situation where we can't get the parking brake system to stop telling us to service it. That was scary. So we're gonna figure that out now. Right, Sam? We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Okay, we'll be back. All right, guys. So we fixed the code. No more service park brake, no more anything. Park brake works exactly how it's supposed to. The brakes work fine. It's a job well done. Hey, you know what I love about this? You're freaking, you're just chowing down on another freaking Bro, sucker, bro. That's lit. You're a freaking bomb. All right? Don't fight me. Oh, yeah, right. those are super low Civic right here. It's pretty sad. Yeah, bro. Super low. All right, guys. So the car is returned to my mom's house. Uh, everything works, and we're back in the Civic. Sammy, how you feel? I feel pretty good. You know, it was a long day and everything, so... I'm tired, you know, gonna hit, gonna hit the hay right now. Um, yeah, just gonna, just gonna cruise home, hit the hay, wake up real early, go to work. Same here. All right, this has been it for today's vlog. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm half blind. Deuces.